Now let's look at the phrase. The phrase. This is the third in the category. From whichever point you take it, either from the top or from the bottom. It's in the middle. After the morphine, we have the word, the phrase, clause, and sentence. So, this is the phrase. What is a phrase? A phrase is a group of grammatically related words related words without a subject or a finite verb or both. That is, if you have a phrase, if you have an expression, in that expression or in, in that line of words, you shouldn't have both the finite verb and the subject. If you have both the finite verb and the subject, it becomes difficult for us to say that it is a phrase. Because you will likely would have had a clause. That is the point. So you want to know that a phrase, as we said, should be grammatically related. So it doesn't mean that once you have a group of words, then it's a phrase. For example, In really true. This group of words is difficult to call this a phrase because they are not related. Or we have call me you. It is difficult to say that this is a phrase because there is no grammatical relationship. So a phrase should be a group of grammatically related words. But what on, defines what makes it different from the clause or the sentence is the fact that it will not have a subject, it can have a subject. It will not have a finite verb, it can have a finite verb. But what it cannot have is that both the subject and the finite verb will be there at the same time. So the point is that if you have a group of related words and you have a subject, yes, it's still a phrase. Since there's no finite verb, it can. Or you have a group of words and there's no finite verb and there's a finite verb. Yes, it can be a phrase. So long, so long as there's no subject. But what but sometimes you can have a phrase where there will be no subject, there is also there will be no finite verb. That is a point. So it's either the one is present or both are missing.